showed you in that report, you know, the, the, the monsoon troughs we come up, we get up here, fill the Great Artesian Basin and fill the aquifers and these river systems and all the East Coast, everything runs off the aquifer system that we have in this country. You know, there was some speculation on that show, that report that I put out. People were arguing whether the Great Artesian Basin actually fills the coastal aquifers or whatever. I mean, these are details, folks. The fact of the matter is that the country's drying up and it's being done deliberately and it's been done through water mismanagement and there's a, a real overall plan going on here. And we are really facing a serious situation here, folks. You know, the fires are just, you know, out of control. We've got fire trucks being engulfed in flames. They're really kind of selling it to the people uh, heading for another major heat wave. This is today's news. Um, you know, it's, it's just a drastic situation that we're facing here. We've got towns running out of water, you know, emergency water rations. We've got um, our Prime Minister, of course, taking a holiday in the middle of it all. If anyone thought that he actually did care, of course, he's back now and he's apologising for running out on everybody and he's admitting that it's a little bit smoky in Sydney. Interesting. You know, and while all this is happening, you know, what's going on, folks, is they've deliberately dried the country out. You know, I showed you a report uh, last week or on the last report. I'll, I'll show you a little bit of it again because I think it's important. We'll just watch a, a few seconds of it, about 30 seconds of it. Maybe just check this out in case you missed it. 1,500 kilometres of the greatest river system is empty and it's not drought. Floodplain harvesting means where there was floodplains, they kill all the trees, level it off and they put a big embankment to stop the water actually getting into the river. And they call that harvesting. I'm calling that rape of a river. Welcome to what's left of the Darling River. So, you know, this is what's going on with the Murray Darling -Darl -Darl Basin, all this floodplain harvesting. Um, and what we've also got is, as I mentioned before, dams that are being built, private dams that are being built for major agri companies. If you read some of this here, it says, you know, just two of these dams cost taxpayers nearly 30 million. And these are private dams. And it says here that the, the politicians don't want to talk about these dams because they do nothing for drought stricken communities or the health of the river or struggling farmers. You know, politicians are reluctant to talk about why millions of taxpayer dollars have been spent on subsidizing dams that make the problems of the Murray Darling Basin worse. It's been done deliberately, folks. Um, you've got down here as well that uh, these dams are designed to divert normal irrigation water and supplementary water, not to simply recycle irrigation water, thus they increase both evaporation and irrigation water use. You know, these dams are being done intentionally to waste water and it's illegal. These dams are all illegal. The water harvesting is illegal. The floodplain harvesting is illegal. All you've got to do is look at the Constitution, folks. I should have it up here somewhere. The Constitution, the Constitution, it should be there. Um, it's somewhere. But it says in the Constitution, the annotated version of the Constitution, it says here, Australian Constitution, Section 100, the Commonwealth shall not by any law or regulation of trade or commerce abridge the right of a state or of the residents to the reasonable use of waters, of rivers for conservation or irrigation. So that's what it says in the Constitution, folks. And that means that these dams are illegal because this is all water allocation. The way they're getting around it, of course, is they're saying, well, we're getting the water from the floodplains before it gets into the river. This is the loopholes that they like to use. And what they're doing by diverting the water from getting into the river is they are bridging the right of people downstream to the use of this water. This has all been manufactured and this has served to dry the country out. You know, I also showed you on the last report the fracking wells that are all over the country. You can see them really clearly down here in the Nullarbor Plain. There's frack wells all over the place. If you look up reports, you'll find that there's 43,000 frack wells in Australia. Each one of these wells uses between 1.5 to 16 million gallons of water. This is one of the driest countries on earth, and this is what they're doing with our water supply.